Hi, boys and girls. Today, I'm going to be reading one of my favorite stories from one of my favorite authors, Peter Reynolds. And this story is called The Word Collector. And look at all of the beautiful words on the front cover. Let's see what this is about. The Word Collector. Collectors collect things. Some people collect stamps, some collect coins, others collect rocks, and some collect art. Some collect bugs, some collect comic books, others collect baseball cards. And Jerome, what did he collect? Jerome collected words. You might be thinking, how can someone collect words? going to find out. He collected words he heard. My trip to Peru was perfectly pleasant. Certain words caught his attention. He collected words he saw. Certain words jumped out at him. He collected words he read. Certain words popped off the page. Short and sweet words like spark, bloom, drift, dream, two-syllable treats, treasure, motif, whisper, glimmer, hover, candid, and multi-syllable words that sounded like little songs, kaleidoscope, guacamole, geometry, wonderful, symphony. There were words he did not know the meaning of at first, but they were marvelous to say, aromatic, effervescent. There were words whose sounds were perfectly suited to their meaning. Molasses, smudge, bellow, torrential. Jerome filled his scrapbooks with more and more of his favorite words. Jerome's collections grew. He began organizing them, dreamy, science, sad, action, poetic. One day, while transporting them, <gasps> Jerome slipped and his words went flying. Oh no. As he began to pick them up, he noticed his collections had become jumbled. Big words next to little words, sad words next to dreamy words. Jerome began stringing the words together, words he had not imagined being side by side. He used his words to write poems. He used his poems to make songs. They moved and they delighted. And some of his simplest words were his most powerful. I understand. I'm sorry. Thank you. You matter. Beautiful. Jerome eagerly collected more and more of his favorite words. The more words he knew, the more clearly he could share with the world what he was thinking, feeling, and dreaming. One breezy afternoon, Jerome climbed the highest hill pulling a wagon packed with his word collection. He smiled as he emptied his collection of words into the wind. He saw children in the valley below scurrying about collecting words from the breeze. Jerome had no words to describe how happy that made him. Reach for your own words. Tell the world who you are and how you will make it better. Peter Hamilton Reynolds. The end. Thank you so much, sweet friends, for listening to this story with me. And Mrs. Mercer absolutely loves words. I love learning new words every single day. 
Um, so maybe today it might be fun for you to, maybe you're listening to a song on the radio or you're watching a new movie or listening to your mom and dad talk or someone you love have a conversation and listen to the words they say and maybe make a list or maybe just note which words sound so cool or different. It's so fun to learn new things and I hope this inspires you to do that. I will see you soon. Thanks for spending some time with me.